Ah, there you all are. A very good morning to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the World's Top broadcast platform, Facebook Live. Welcome, 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 I say, to the Sunday morning, Sunday the 29th of January 2017. The Scotty McClure programme will be broadcasting live tonight at 2200 hours, 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 Greenwich Mean Time. That's 10 o'clock sharp for the rest of you and around 5 o'clock tea time if you're watching in the United States, of which many of you are. A very, very good morning to you. I hope your weekend is going well. And uh, this is just a short promotional video, so we're not actually on here um, as a program right now. This is a, a Sunday morning promotional video. I'm thinking I might call myself McClue, because I see that the other big television programs on a Sunday morning are things like Mar and Peston. So I think we might start McClue, might even do it on a Sunday morning at the same time. The difference, of course, with the Scotty Clue Show is that you join in. It's fully interactive. So instead of somebody talking at you, instead of somebody um, sitting there telling you what's what, you can tell me what's what, and I can tell you what's what. And that, to me, is a much fairer deal. That's the way it should be. We do, of course, have Skype at scotty.mcclue. So tonight, when we're talking about how the world is, how your world is, how the world works. This is a show for the people. And I am Scotty McClue. I'm in my Jubilee year. This is 25 years of the Scotty McClue show, broadcasting all over the UK on the top radio and television stations. So you will be well familiar with me. For those of you who are an alien life form from another planet, and you've never actually heard of Scotty McClue, a very, very warm welcome to you as well. I hope you're having a lovely weekend, and I hope that all is well in your planet. Robbie Proven says, see you at 2200, dinky-doo. Morning, Scotty, says Hugh Miller. Good morning, and two kisses, says Esther Hart. Dinky-doo to all of you. Good morning, Scotty. I used to listen to you on Scott FM, says Jim Jopling. Dinky-doo, Jim, fantastic. Scott FM was without a shadow of doubt Scotland's finest radio hour. It has never been surpassed. Uh, McClure on Monday sounds better says Craig Duncan. Ah, that's just because you're not ready to cope with me just now, Craig. <laughs> right, now the other thing I've got to tell you about, the Scotty McClue show is absolutely free at point of consumption. So when you're consuming your media, when you're seeing me on, absolutely free. It's always been free for you, but of course the companies paid for all the equipment and paid me a small fee. So there's that, and I have made many, many media moguls very, very wealthy indeed, with my generosity. So there you go. However, uh, what I've done, I've set up a GoFundMe page. We have a PayPal at www.scotty-mcclue.com, but I've set up a GoFundMe page. Now you're all saying, fund you for what? Fund him for what? Right? Let me explain to you what I'm hoping to do. I've set quite a high goal. But if we all work away, we will do it. It's only been running for 20 hours. And already we've got 25 smackaroonies. 25 pounds have gone into the fund. So we're a bit away from our goal. But two points here I have to make very clear to you. One, there is no great rush to reach the goal. And two, what we're hoping to do is fund an independent media show for you. Improve on the equipment and uh, and what have you and get things absolutely right. Up the production values, look at our lovable lassie of a big switchboard or the wizard of the big switchboard. But also, the reason the goal is set very high, it's not terribly high in commercial terms, but it's set high is that we might wish to purchase a media asset from another owner and the sooner we can reach our goal the sooner we can talk about doing that so that's that's what's behind my thinking also the audience figures are behind my thinking would it surprise you to know including the doubting thomases that we're verging on a hundred thousand viewers for the scotty mcclue shows right each week we're on our 19th show tonight so each week has been going up and up 
and up. And last week, we're just shy of 10,000 of you. I unfortunately deleted a video last night called GoFundMe. Uh, but you can still see it. I've got a blue jumper on, but you can't see all the numbers that we're following it. So it's a much smaller number of numbers. I think it's about 100 have seen it. But there was about 400 when we stopped last night, which would have gone to 500, and then your other 100, 600, and up, and up, and up. Also, your duty is to share everything that says Scotty McClure on it, because that helps us build an audience. So we're relying totally on you, not just to like it, liking's great, but sharing is what it's about. So if you can also type into your Facebook and say, are you watching Scotty McClure? He's live right now, on Facebook Live. No, I'm not, but I will do. My goodness, Scotty McClure. I remember Scotty McClure. I know Scotty McClure. I didn't realize he was still about on Facebook Live. Fantastic. So share all this. Get the good news out there, lads. Tell everybody, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you, dinky do. So we're building a global program. So we're effectively on television. We're on radio as well, because you can hear it while you're working away in the kitchen. And the great beauty about something like Facebook Live, or the great beauty about Facebook Live, as far as I've seen, is it's wonderfully simple to operate. And, of course, so McClure can manage, the old fella here can manage. And uh, also, it's global. So we're in Canada and America and Russia and China, Japan and Australia and New Zealand, Ireland, the UK, uh, Europe. America, South America, right across there, and of course, right down to the tip of South America, the Tierra del Fuego. Fantastic. Gary Crossley is watching. Good day, Scotty, from Sydney, says Morsi Puffin. He's in Sydney in Australia. So excellent. Lovely to hear from you from Sydney, Morsi. And uh, give my love to the harbour and to the brig and to the opera house. Uh, Craig Brown's watching. Ah, dinky-doo, Craig. Lovely to hear from you. A fine fellow. Just shared now, says Jim Jopling. Thank you, Jim. Very much appreciated. We've got to get the word out there. But I am very much buoyed up by the viewing figures, folks. That's why I've decided to build and build the show and go for a GoFundMe. So you'll see it on there. If you go onto the GoFundMe site, put in Scotty McClure or the Scotty McClure show, up and pop, you will see that beautiful people, I think it's four beautiful people have given 25 quid already now you might think <laughs> 25 quid is looking for fortune it doesn't matter if you can give a pound it you know it it's wonderful and those of you who can't give you can still do your bit by sharing and sharing and sharing so go on to the gofundme page and share it share the page just click share with facebook share with everyone uh, good on you, Scotty. I can't get you in the morning, as I am at bloody work, says Morsi. Not to worry about that, but we're looking about increasing the McClue shows. A lot more broadcasting coming your way. Wonderful stuff. And I'm wondering if on a Sunday, if we did one on a Sunday morning, should we call it McClue? Because we've got Mar and we've got Peston. So one's on the BBC, one's on ITV. And I was thinking, what about McClue? On Facebook Live, and people say, do you watch the television on Sunday morning? Only McClure. Definitely McClure. He's the one with his finger on the pulse. So there you are. We are all over the world, says Michael McGuigan. We are indeed. And good morning from East Cobride, just to also demonstrate the localness. So that is fabulous. So um, what I would like to tell you about, anything that you feel you can give towards the fund, Please do so. If you feel you can't afford anything, never, ever, ever feel obliged. It is not a problem. The GoFundMe page is there. It's lovely to see it going up. As I say, we've only been up 20 hours and £25 has winged its way from beautiful, generous people. This will allow us to buy little bits of equipment. It will allow us to advertise the show and get the word out there. But the best way of doing that is your good selves. Share, 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 share the video right now. That is tremendous. So I will be live tonight, Scotty McClure Live on Facebook Live, 10 o'clock sharp. Make it a date to be there or be square, I say. Yes, definitely. We'll get it here in Australia, says Mossy, and two lovely kisses. Hello, Free Govan, says Neil Wood. 
I love that. I love the international and the global side of the program. I love broadcasting globally, but I love the local side of it as well. So somebody says, hello, good morning from Sydney. And somebody else comes on and says, hello, Frank Evan in Glasgow. Lee Faber, is McClue your surname? Is there a McClue clan tartan? There's a, a McClue in America. The poor soul must get no end of nonsense. Scotty likes Quality Street. Is like Quality Street made for sharing? Absolutely, George. I love it. So this is the kind of input from you beautiful people that we can actually cope with. Remember the Scotty McClue show is public access radio. My whole life has been about increasing public access radio. Interactivity for you. And of course, the internet was virtually invented for Scotty McClue. There's a saying that no one has done more for radio since Marconi than Scotty McClue. I thank you for that. And the other one is that Scotty McClue has given radio the shot in the arm that it needed. The wonderful thing about Marconi, I said this um, before, but his friend, when they actually discovered the power of the airwaves, the airwaves were there anyway, obviously, they discovered them. And his friend and him were working in the garden. He said, go up to the wee hillock, take your handkerchief and raise it up. And then when you drop your hanky, I will know if you can hear me. He burbled into his microphone. His friend dropped the hanky. What a fabulous moment that must have been. And the reason I could tell you all this, I know the joy. I built my first radio station when I was nine. When I was nine. And uh, I can remember the little diodes and transmitters and transformers and all these little things that we joined up. It was relatively simple, but to a nine-year-old, it was quite a feat. And you could hear me faintly broadcasting from the house to the car radio in the garage. I remember my father and grandfather listening in to the boy, the boys broadcasting at nine. And my grandfather, who, of course, had been there at the start of radio. He was born in 1881. So he remembered radios coming in, and he lived by his radio. His radio had a pride of place in his house, a bush radio that uh, he was given in the 1940s, and he absolutely adored it. And, of course, I had a cousin who used to build radios in the 1920s. That was a great thing as well. So the broadcasting is tremendous. And um, if everybody can share, 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 that is fantastic. Tell everyone about Scotty McClue. Spread the word, say dinky-doo. Scotty McClue is broadcasting live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. What we'll do with this live video, of course, is upload it to YouTube as well so that you can still get the benefit of it. But the purpose is really as a short promotional video to let you know I will be on tonight at 10 o'clock live on Facebook live on this page. So get a marker. Say can I receive alerts when Scotty McClue is broadcasting live. Click that particular one. And uh, also share, 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 share. Let everyone know the McClue's on the airwaves. I know it's Sunday morning to a lot of you it's early. It's coming up to 11 o'clock. I've got 10.57 Greenwich Mean Time here. So we're just approaching 11 o'clock. And um, I know there's a lot of um, constraints on your time on a Sunday morning. A lot of you are recovering from Saturday night. But uh, there's a lot of broadcasting out there. There's a lot of media out there. There's a lot of people after your time. But McClue, I think, is worthy of his higher 25 years, our jubilee year, 36,000 hours of live broadcasting, uh, networking on radio stations throughout the UK, major, major media players, big markets, and it's all there for you. And there are huge top-level talks going on right now about the future for Scotty McClue broadcasting live just for you, dinky-doo. So there you are. I have set up a GoFundMe page. You will see the link on my Facebook, or just go to GoFundMe and put in Scotty McClue. And if you can give something a fiver, a tenner, 50 quid, a grand, 50 grand, 5 million, it doesn't matter. It's wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I will also acknowledge it because the lovely thing about GoFundMe is I can see who's given unless you're anonymous, somebody anonymously, 
gave a tenner yesterday. Thanks be to them. They know who they are. That is wonderful. Good morning, Scotty. The sun is shining, says David Lee Weir. It is indeed, David. And Mick McFarlane is watching. A fine fellow, Mick. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your sharing. Thank you for all your assistance with the program. This is the kind of television that is changing the market big style. And I have tweeted this week, I can see the day when almost every business will come to Scotty McClue to put their adverts because they will get value for money and they will be able to see the results in the sales of their products. And I envisage if we do start commercials, very, very simple, hold up a whiteboard with a telephone number on it and a name and then you will know that that's where you can get your car fixed. You will know that that's where you can go to get your hair cut. You will know that that's where you can go to get yourself, uh, you know, some kitchen utensils or, or anything like that. Um, so there's a huge, huge world market out here right now. Uh, is there such a thing as a news station which only broadcasts good news? Just a thought, says Louis Faber. Louis? I share your wonderful thought. I share your big brain with the world. This is something, and I'm not just claiming it, Scotty McClue has thought of for years because the driving force behind every news station is how much fear, how much horror, how much shock can you actually cause with your bulletins? And I would say, Let's have the good news, because you look at the way Facebook operates. You look at the um, a kitten sleeping with a big Labrador in the Labrador, in between the Labrador's paws, snuggling in. And, you know, it maybe gets 14 million views. Fantastic stuff. So, good news. I think McClure should be looking at the good news. Good morning, Scotty, says Ron Stewart. Good morning, Scotty, says Mick McFarlane. Fantastic stuff. A very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue. As I say, this is just a short promotional video to let you know I'll be on at 10 o'clock sharp and to appraise you of the fact that 20 hours ago we set up GoFundMe. So if you go on to GoFundMe, put in Scotty McClue or the Scotty McClue Show, S-C-O-T-T-I-E, and then a space M-C-C-L-U-E, you will see it there. And if you want to chip in with a fiver, a ten or fifty quid, whatever, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, also, Michael Pepper Knight, good morning from Wigan in Lancashire. Sunny Wigan, we love it. Off to Wigan in Lancashire. Guys, this is amazing. We've had uh, somebody from Sydney. We've had some, somebody from Govan, somebody from East Bride. Here's uh, Michael, who's down in Wigan in Lancashire. This is wonderful and as i say i am very 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 buoyed up by the viewing figures for scotty McClue live on facebook live tremendous stuff very very much appreciated can we share the video again can we have a share yes it's uh it's just gone 11 o'clock on sunday morning sunday the 29th of january 2017 there is huge huge positive energy out there and we're looking at the next step for Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. I think I can say that with all humility. The holder of 460,000 phone calls to a radio station in one week. That's bound to be a record. Good morning from Northwest London, says Louis. Louis, that is absolutely fabulous. You're in the Northwest of London. Whereabouts are you? You don't have to give us the exact location, but do tell us where because it's great fun sometimes waking up in London and thinking, I've got a couple of days in London. I've got a meeting and then I am off on the randan to see what is what. So there you are. So do let us know. The gentleman in northwest London, 25 of you have commented so far. I'm sorry I haven't managed to read everything out. I can probably scroll back down to the start. There we are. Hugh Miller's watching. Alan Laurie's watching. Good morning, says Craig Duncan. George Raffin is watching. Good morning, George. So there we are. And uh, so that's me scrolling back to the start. Morning, Scotty, says Alan Laurie. Anna Lil Johansson Lever is watching. Fantastic. That is wonderful, Anna Lil Johansson Lever. And do tell Laurie I am asking for her. I hope she's okay. I hope her ankle's not giving her too much trouble. 
and that you and her are managing to get out walking the dogs. I saw the video yesterday. That is fabulous. So big love to you guys. Big shout out to you guys. Tremendous stuff. Who knows? We might do some work together someday. Uh, Anna Lil Johansson Lever and Laurie Lever, the wonderful Laurie Lever, who has done so many wonderful things in her life. Uh, see you at uh, 2200, says Robbie. Absolutely. Uh, wonderful stuff. You're all there. Morning from Orkney, Scotty. Now, this is tremendous. This is Fiona Mora Graham, who's up in Orkney. Are you an Arcadian, uh, Fiona Mora? You sound like you might well be. And uh, I hope you're a wonderful time, wonderful time on your beautiful, beautiful islands there. Tremendous on your beautiful, well, you'll be on one island, of course, but the beautiful Orkney Islands. And uh, I watch Tom Morton. He does Facebook Live. Tom Morton, big, big, big broadcaster, very famous with the BBC for many, many years. A great music man, a great come to fails man, lovely, lovely man, great broadcaster, wonderful broadcaster. So Tom Morton, you will see on uh, a Saturday evening, uh, he goes live, forgive me if I've not got this right, Tom, but he goes live, is it 8 o'clock exactly you go live? 7.30, 8 o'clock, and he's broadcasting from Shetland. Uh, so it's lovely to have Fiona Mora Graham uh, watching right now in Orkney and the very fact that you can get this this is probably better than the telly um, Fiona Morag fantastic stuff and love to Orkney to all the Arcadians up there I love your particular brand of fiddle playing in Orkney and I have to get up there and sample some Orkney cheese tremendous stuff and of course you uh, somebody said uh, you'll get used to the wind scotty you get used to the wind so you'll know what i'm talking about fiona morag but uh, apparently get used to the wind and also if you listen to the arcadians accent in general it's quite high and i think that's probably countering the wind on the islands good day scotty from sydney says mossy we've seen you good on you scotty i can't get you in the morning i'm off at work we're all over the world Josh Wands is watching. Yes, we'll definitely get it here in Australia. Tremendous stuff. Ah, oh, there you all are. This is wonderful. Who's, where's this one? I'm in North Acton. Fairly industrial, yes. I know Acton. I know Acton well. And uh, you'll not be far away, if I've got this right, from St. John's Wood. Am I right? You'll be quite near to St. John's Wood. Uh, which is uh, which is wonderful and uh, can you give us a mention we've just opened the first mobile flooring showroom that comes to you says Derek McGonagall thanks Derek yes so look out for Derek McGonagall's mobile showroom whereabouts are you coming Derek oh you're in Glasgow that's fantastic well that's narrowing it down any more information let us know and we will tell the world Dave Elwood Scotty, I like that. A mobile flooring company that comes to you so you don't have to wander into the shops and wait till somebody serves you. Have you noticed that shops have cut back on wages so much, but they've also cut back on training? And uh, therefore you're getting things like a wee assistant who's not paid very much and you say, excuse me, do you have this in another size? They go, no, just what's there. Uh, so there you are. Paul Francis Carroll is watching. I can remember the service that we had in shops. I'm sure people would be paid a bit more, but not a huge wage, I wouldn't have thought. And, um, you know, they used to know all about service. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Our shoes, of course, sir. Yes, absolutely. Uh, what size are we now? Uh, would you like to just pop your shoe off and I'll take your measurements and we'll get the width of your foot and your instep and we'll get you exactly the shoe for you, sir. Not a problem. Wonderful. That's the kind of things we're needing in shops. No, just what's there. Uh, Scott is, says Dave Elwood. Absolutely. No problem. Brilliant, says Derek McMonagall. A great pleasure, Derek. That's the power of television. That's the power of broadcasting live on Facebook Live. And if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue broadcasting live on Facebook Live just for you, saying dinky do with a short promotional video, letting you know that we will be live tonight here on Facebook Live with the full broadcast program for an hour at 2200 at 10 o'clock sharp. So there we are. Uh, right, you can keep your stuff coming now. I think I've stopped that with, with 
And yet, if you see me brushing the screen, folks, what happens is I've got everybody who's on coming up in front of me here. It's tremendous. Uh, so there we go. Um, I'll just set it going. Good. That's us. Now, um, the other thing to tell you, of course, I've opened a Go Funding page. So if you'd like to give towards building the program, lovely, lovely people have already given us 25 quid and we're just starting. Now, the goals are high. I've set the bar very, very, very high. There's method in my madness, and it's this. If we can get everything going successfully, could we could maybe even look at purchasing a suitable bolt-on business term, bolt-on media asset from someone else. So there you are. Um, excellent stuff. Uh, great. We'll be there, says Derek McGonagall. Yes. Join me 10 o'clock sharp, Derek. Fantastic stuff. And it's it's coming up to 10 minutes past 11 o'clock. So I shall push off. I accidentally, as I say, um, deleted last night's video. Now you can see the video in raw form and it's got about uh, 100 viewers or something. That would have been 500 because uh, I deleted it and we had all the viewers joined us last night. And of course, you won't be able to see your comments, but you will be able to listen and watch and hear yourselves get a mention. So that's rather good. Also, share, share, share all the time. Anything that you see with Scotty McClure on it, you know, don't sort of do attitude and think, oh, what's he sharing now? It's all over the internet, the Scotty McClure. Of course I am. That's the nature of the game. That's why we've got interactive broadcasting. That's what we do. We go all over the internet because this is a pivotal program in the world's media, in global media. And uh, tell ten, tell ten, tell ten, says Mick McFarlane. Yes, absolutely the old adage. See you at ten, Scotty, says Craig Brown. I will push off now. If you can go on to GoFundMe and give something, anything that you've got, a pound, a fiver, 25 quid, 50 quid, a thousand quid, five million quid, whatever. Jim Jopping, two of my friends have just shared your video, Scotty. Excellent, Jim. Wonderful stuff. That's the way to do it. As we say, share the video. Right. Time I was out of your hair. Have a lovely, lovely Sunday. And looking forward to seeing you at 10. Uh, I shall upload this to YouTube as well, of course, and you can share it round everybody. So you'll see that on Scottish Facebook page. Ah, now, social media. I am all over social media. If you've got a Twitter account, if you can go on to it right now and follow at Scotty McClure, the little A, and then capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E, McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E, all one word, at Scotty McClure on Twitter. You'll get me on Google+. Plus. If you go on to YouTube, there's a Scotty McClue channel. You'll see it. It's got about, I think, 170 videos. Well, a lot of them are audio videos, if you get my meaning. And that will keep you up to date with what I'm all about. If you go on to www.scotty-mcclue.com, the world's top website, of which over 10 million people have visited to date. You will see there is a PayPal there. If you prefer PayPal, then feel free to do so. If you prefer um, GoFundMe, then go on to the GoFundMe website, put in Scotty McClue or the Scotty McClue show, and it will pop up. Now, if you feel you don't have anything to give, or uh, you don't feel you want to give, that's not a problem. You will not be any less loved, I can tell you. So what I would suggest is that you go on to GoFundMe and share it. Share it, share it, share it. So that the world is aware of Scotty McClure. That the world is aware that we are looking for funding to build up independent public access media, which I think you'll agree is sore needed these days as people are losing trust in what was called traditional media so there you are scotty McClure, the way ahead just for you have a fabulous day and uh, see you later for now says derek oh just before i go a wonderful wonderful man is watching a man called kev seed of which many of you throughout the world will be well aware of he woke up liverpool in the northwest of england for years and years and years as the breakfast presenter 
on Radio City. A wonderful man. I worked with him at Red Rose Radio. He is a tremendous broadcaster, terrific fellow, had a wonderful, wonderful following. Big, big audiences. If you get the chance to hear Kev Seed, if you get the chance to meet Kev Seed, do so. Lovely, lovely fellow. And of course, everybody in the northwest of England knows Kev Seed. Um, I believe he's been a little bit unwell recently. And I believe he is getting stronger and stronger and better and better. So say your prayers for Kev Seed. Send him strength, big strength, because he is one great guy. Kev, dinky do. Thanks for watching this morning. Lovely to know that you're there. Uh, so there we go. Right, I will push off. And as we say, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we Thursday, au revoir, and a cheerio. Kev says, thank you, mate. And sends me a couple of kisses. Thank you, mate. Dinky do. Strong and well to you. I'm off. Scotty McClue has left the building. Bye.